Hello everybody, my name is Mohit Despande, and in this video, I want to show you guys how we can convert between color models using OpenCV. So first things first, we actually have to import OpenCV, and in particular, what we're going to be doing is we want to convert between RGB and grayscale, and that's actually a really common thing to do because, as I mentioned, for a lot of CV algorithms, what happens is color is ultimately irrelevant, so we just end up getting rid of color and converting to grayscale anyway. So this is kind of use something useful to know, and it's something that's you know commonly used to convert between RGB and grayscale. So I'm going to show you how we do that in this video. But first things first, we actually have to load an image. So I'm going to use img equals cv2 dot im read, and I'm going to use the same test.jpg image that I've been using. And I can double check to make sure it's in my directory. Anyway, I know that it is. So now we want to convert this image into grayscale. And the great thing about OpenCV, as I keep saying, is it's super awesome. We can do a ton of things in a single line of code. So I'm going to show you how we can convert RGB grayscale with a single line of code. First, I'm going to have to create a variable called gray. And then the CV function is cv2. Dot CVT color, and that stands for convert color, and that's going to allow us to convert between color spaces. So the first per argument that it takes is the image that we're actually going to be converting, and then the second argument that it takes is this special constant value that is going to tell OpenCV where we're starting from, which color space we're starting from, and which color space we want to transition to. So all of those special constants begin with cv2 dot color in all caps and then underscore. And then this is where it's kind of split in this constant is kind of split between two parts. So the first part of the constant is where we're starting from. In this case, we want to say we're starting from RGB, but as it turns out, OpenCV actually stores RGB in the op in the reverse order as BGR. And the real reason for this is that it's actually it's just sort of a historical sort of thing where traditionally we always stored it as BGR instead of RGB, but just note that they're just exactly the same thing. It's just the ordering in which the colors are. It, it's exactly the same thing as RGB. BGR is exactly the same as RGB. So anyway, but because of OpenCV, we have to use BGR instead of RGB when we're discussing code. So that's kind of the first part of this constant. And then the second part of this constant is what color space we want to convert to. And so the, we kind of separate the two using BGR2. And then we want to convert to grayscale, so I'm going to type in gray. And then that's all we need. And so note that this isn't actual Python code. This is just like a, this is a constant, basically. And they've, what OpenCV has done, what the people working on that project has done, uh, is that they have created a ton of constants and they all follow this kind of format where this thing before the numeral two is the color mod color space we're starting from and the thing after is the color space that we're converting to hence the constant name bgr2 gray anyway that's kind of a long-winded way of saying this is how we can convert between rgb and grayscale so now let's actually show this image so I'll do cv2 dot im show, and we'll do gray. Now to show gray, and then I have to remember I have to do those two things: wait key zero so that the window doesn't just disappear immediately, and then destroy all windows. Now let's actually run this, and you just see that hey, our image is in grayscale. Awesome! Just to be absolutely sure, let's actually show a color image and a grayscale image side by side. So I'm going to go back to my code here, and I'll do cv2 dot im show color, and I'm going to do img. And note that we don't have to set up a separate wait key and destroy all windows for this. In fact, if we did, what's going to happen is we're going to see the color first, and then we'll see the and then after we hit the key, the color window will disappear, and then we see the grayscale image. But we actually want to show them side by side, so that's why we're doing this wait key destroy all windows thing at the very end. So let's run this. And it's going to be kind of at a weird position. I don't know exactly know how OpenCV does that. But anyway, now we can see 
that there are we have a color image that I'm dragging around here and then there's a grayscale image you can see that well it's clearly converted successfully from color to grayscale and if I press a single key both of those windows will disappear excellent so that's all I'm going to cover in this video so just to do a quick recap we were able to convert between RGB and grayscale with a single line of code here line 5 is a single line of code we need to convert between RGB and grayscale and it's really simple how we can do this we use the CBT color function and then we supply the input image and then the special constant that, that OpenCV will use to determine what color space we're turning from, what color space we want to convert to, and then it does the appropriate computations and returns a result. Excellent. So now, you know, in the next few videos, we're going to kind of discuss more, we're going to be doing more image processing stuff with OpenCV.